हेलो गाइस दिस इज अदिप वेलकम टू माय चैनल मूवमेंट साइंस वेर आई सिंप्लीफाई बायो मैकेनिक्स एंड वी विल आल्सो टॉक अबाउट द आईटी बैंड एंड द टू कंडीशंस दैट आर रिलेटेड टू इट लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट लिगमेंट्स ऑफ द पोस्टीरियर कैप्सूल so let us start with the posterior medial side on the posterior medial side there is the mcl and semi membranosus tendon so the semi membranosus tendon has extension of oblique popliteal ligament which covers the capsule and more superficially it has the posterior oblique ligament which along with the arcuate ligament which is the y shaped ligament on the lateral side of the knee prevents hyper extension in the knee joint on the posterior lateral side there is also the popliteus tendon which is a triangular shaped muscle present in the popliteal fossa has a function of locking and unlocking of the knee joint i will cover locking and unlocking in detail in my further videos but in brief locking is basically at the end of the extension tibia rotates laterally in open kinematic chain and rotates medially in open kinematic chain when it starts to flex from the completely extended position it also saves the lateral meniscus from getting injured during flexion of the knee by pulling it posteriorly as you can see the popliteus is present posteriorly and it is attached over here to the posterior horn of the lateral meniscus and it pulls the meniscus posteriorly during the flexion of the knee joint now that we have known about the ligaments that are present posteriorly to the capsule let us go to the it band it band has gluteus maximus and tfl as its origin and it travels down and attaches to the jordis tubercle at the tibia on the lateral side through a sling formed by its connection with hamstring posteriorly so on the posterior side there is the hamstring and anterior there is vastus lateralis so through the connection with vastus lateralis and the hamstring it forms a sling which pulls the tibia posteriorly and helps acl to stabilize the knee and prevents excessive anterior translation of the tibia on femur it also provides lateral stability to knee with the lcl it also influences patello femoral motion which we learned in my lcl and mcl video so basically patella is attached to it band at the side by the patello femoral ligament and this it band influences the movement of patella in the knee joint another condition related to it band is the it band syndrome in it band syndrome what happens is there is excessive friction of it band over the lateral condyle of the femur which causes lateral knee pain this often occurs in runners because when your knee is in extension the it band is anterior to the lateral condyle whereas when your knee goes into flexion the it band goes posterior to the condyle so when you are running there is movement of the it band anterior and posterior to the condyle which causes lot of friction and can irritate it band this is called as the it band syndrome apart from this reason abductor weakness can also be another reason so when there is weakness of the abductors like gluteus maximus or medius what will happen is the hip will go into internal rotation this will mess up the position of the it band and this can cause excessive friction again over here or proximally at the greater trochanter and can cause it band syndrome so to summarize we talked about the ligaments of the posterior capsule the posterior oblique ligament along with the arcuate ligament which is the y shaped ligament seen in 70% of the people prevents hyper extension also the popliteus ligament causes locking and unlocking and also prevents lateral meniscus from getting injured we also talked about the it band its attachment function and two conditions that is the it band syndrome where the it band snaps over the lateral femoral condyle or proximally over the greater trochanter which causes lateral knee pain or hip pain and we also talked about patello femoral pain syndrome where it band through the attachment of the patello femoral ligament influences the position of the patella in the patello femoral groove which can cause patello femoral pain syndrome
If you like my content, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also let me know in the comment section what other videos you would like me to cover. Thank you for watching. I never